Hurricane Danielle has formed in the far Atlantic, becoming the second hurricane of the 2010 Atlantic hurricane season. On the morning of August 23, 2010, Tropical Storm Danielle was centered about 2,700 miles southeast of Miami, Florida. The storm was packing sustained 65 mile per hour winds and later in the day turned into a hurricane with top sustained winds at 75 miles per hour, which forecasters expect to strengthen over the next few days. Forecasters at the National Hurricane Center said Hurricane Danielle was moving west-northwest at about 16 miles per hour on the morning of August 23rd. Where will the hurricane wind up? It's too early to tell. Hurricane Center meteorologists are predicting that Danielle could increase in forward speed over the next day or so and should make a turn towards the northwest by Wednesday, August 25, 2010. Hurricane Danielle is the second of this year's Atlantic hurricane season, which officially began on June 1, 2010. Experts have predicted that this year's season will be an active one, with up to 20 named Atlantic storms. Between 8 and 12 could become hurricanes. To date, only Tropical Storm Alex, the first named storm of the season, went on to become a hurricane. Are the tropics beginning to heat up? Some experts say yes. Meteorologist Rick Nabb of the Weather Channel says there are signs that the Atlantic is acting like it should in August and September. Nabb says we're seeing more activity than we did earlier in the season. AccuWeather hurricane expert Joe Bastiardi says Hurricane Danielle could mark the opening of the floodgates. Bastiardi is calling for an upcoming frenzy of storms, days with two or three storms on the chart. For more information on this topic, please visit the link below.